Um, I'm Matt Wilkins. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the School of Biological Sciences, um, and I was heading the committee up that organized uh, today's event. Um, so this uh, builds on a symposium that I put together last year that was mainly for Nebraska and a couple of people from Colorado that came in. Um, and this year uh, we decided to be a lot more ambitious and we opened up um, registration nationwide. So, you know, we have lots of people um, from out of state coming to share their knowledge and discuss uh, some science communication. Um, and um, this was a, a large group effort. So this is the planning committee. Um, and I certainly couldn't have done any, any of this without a tremendous amount of help. So thanks to all of them. And I want to highlight a few people, Nathan Meyer, um, who basically organized the whole amazing uh, NABI Broader Impacts workshop yesterday that uh, I know many of you went to and I, I thought was uh, really informative and it was just a, a fun time. Um, and that was made possible through funding through the Office of Research and Economic Development. Um, and last night, Science Night Live. This was, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming out to that and for many of you who are performed and uh, scientists speed dated. Uh, I hope that was fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, and Jocelyn Bosley, Ramesh Langani, and Lindsay Moore uh, headed that up. And basically, you know, I feel like I was an executive producer on that. So I just, I got to, you know, thumbs down things occasionally and be like, maybe you should do this, maybe spin it a little bit. Um, but they really did that. And it was really amazing. Uh, here's just a few random snapshots. Uh, Jithesh looking really I, I really enjoyed the improv. That was uh, pretty brilliant, I thought. And the web of questions, thanks to Abilesh and, uh, and Rudy. Um, yeah, that was just a, a really fantastic time. So I'm glad to see you all uh, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. Um, and this event uh, would also not have been possible without Maggie Slowinski, Kiyomi Deards, and Sarah Fate. So thanks, thank you to, to them. And let's just give a round of applause to all the organizers. So we also have a lot of sponsors, um, and so you know, we, you guys paid um, most of you twenty dollars um, as a nominal fee, but you know this w was basically just to inc incentivize you to come here. <laughs> uh, so we also got to give you a, a tumbler and stuff like that. But you know, we raised about eighteen thousand dollars to put this on for the two two day event, um, and so I, I've just been so pleasantly surprised and excited about the amount of enthusiasm um, throughout you know Nebraska a number of organizations to put on this event to bring people together to talk about science communication and public engagement in science um, so I'm just really excited that uh, we had over 180 people register for SciComm events this year um, and that, that doesn't show up at all but those are <laughs> floating states uh, <laughs> Nebraska is pretty well represented there um, but we have people from Maine, California, Texas, all over the place. Um, so this is just a fantastic opportunity to get together and talk about some stuff that really you don't see many occasions for this kind of uh, broad topic. Um, so pretty excited. And we have, uh, let's, I don't want to show that yet. Um, <laughs> so we have 32 presentations, including a plenary from Tiffany Hing Moss. Uh, 15, we have 15 minute talks, five minute lightning talks, uh, a keynote from TED speaker Melissa Marshall, who's going to be coming in and presenting to this small of an intimate group. So that's very exciting. Um, so it's quite the lineup from a lot of different perspectives, from different fields, from physics, biology, and chemistry, to the uh, interplay between religion and science, to design. Um, I don't think you'll get this lineup of talks, this, this uh, breadth and uh, in terms of science communication anywhere else. Um, and so we're hoping to stir up a lot of conversations and incite future collaborations, um, not only in Nebraska and the Midwest, but across the country. Um, so please, there's been a lot of good tweets going out, so uh, jump on the bandwagon if you don't already have a, tw a Twitter handle. Uh, it doesn't have to be too clever, just you know, don't overthink it. Um, but yeah, please use our hashtag uh, SciCom 2016 and you know just tell the world what you find interesting here um, 
And uh, so with that, um, I do want to say that, so there's one program change at 11.30 in Heritage in this room. Lisa Panisi will be replacing uh, Cameron Young on the schedule, and she's going to be presenting on simple techniques for behavior change. It's going to be a really fascinating talk. Um, also, for those of you who receive travel awards, um, if you're confused, I'm sorry, I meant to send you an email, but uh, that's, that's on me. Um, so come talk to me if you're, if you're confused. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not, it's, it should be straightforward. You will get the amount I promised you, so don't worry. Um, and with that, let's get started.